come out to make a couple of videos today. First one I'm going to do is an update on my revision on my wrist after having the wrist fusion re redone. The second video I'm going to make is a review on these Sun FAO33 tyres that I've had on the Polaris for the best part of 2,000 miles. And then I'm going to do a quick review of the Polaris because come July this Polaris 570 Razor is four years old. Right, first I'm going to do my update on my wrist fusion and if you can see there's one of the surgical scars and there is the other surgical scar and there's another one running up there I had the revision done on the 30th of January 2019 because I was still having problems with the wrist on the original wrist fusion. So I'm nearly 12 weeks after the surgery now. And another complication has come into, the pl into play. On the original wrist fusion, they put the plate in. And they set the hand at a certain angle, which kept my damaged ulna away from the radius. Now the surgeon I've got at the moment said he wouldn't do the ulna replacement with the wrist in the position it was in before. So he revised the position of the hand with the wrist fusion. And unbeknown to us, it moved the ulna over, so now what's left of the ulna, it's got no head on the ulna, the head was removed on the original wrist fusion. But there's still a plate on the ulna, and the issue I've got now is the plate on the ulna is rubbing on the radius, and it's not some of the time it's all of the time so it's a continual 24 7 pain it aches I can't pick anything up I struggle to even pick a cup up I still can't hold a pen and write but there are things I can do with it I can grip a steering wheel very lightly but I can't have any push or pull movements on the wrist because it just creases me up and puts me into silly amounts of pain so I'm, I'm due to go and see my surgeon now on the 30th of April which is seven days from now for some follow-up x-rays to see how the wrist fusions go in and then we can discuss when he's going to do the ulna head replacement which I'm hoping I really really hope it stops all the grief I'm having at the moment anyhow fingers crossed when I see him we can sort some dates out and we can get going on with the recovery I think the wrist fusion's been pretty successful I and mean, everything's gone quite well with that. Six weeks ago when I saw him 
and we had the x-rays there was still a little gap between where we broke the radius to reset all the angles and put the new plates on and that hadn't healed up so I'm six weeks further on early so I'm quite interested to see how that is progressing so that's where I'm up to with the wrist I'm still in pain with it I'm still not capable of working doing my job because my job is hands on all day using my hands using machines and I can't afford to put the strain and the stress on it at the moment because I'm scared of doing more damage plus he's still got me signed off so I'll see where I go on the 30th I want to have a chat with him because I would like to go back and do some light duties in work but if he says no then I'm not going back if he says I can go back and do some light work then I'm going to give it a go and see how things go with that but for now wait till the 30th of April see surgeon and just see what happens anyhow little update thank you very much for listening have a good day and I hope anybody else who's been going through this uh, surgery I hope your recoveries are going good um, it does get better just I've had a lot of complications, there was a lot of damage in the hand, so good luck, thank you.